Today's Space Orc story is brought to you by the one and only Impala Lord. Humans. Humans. A species. Hailing from the planet called Earth is the most contradictory species I have ever had the pleasure and displeasure of knowing. I have studied human history extensively. Their past is littered with atrocious acts of violence and discrimination on their own kind, no less. Yet with every heinous act committed, there was a period of healing and acceptance. Great groups of people would rally together to comfort each other of their loss and their sadness. I've never known a species with the capacity to love and hate itself at the same time as much as the humans do. They can do the most despicable things to each other over such minor differences, and yet that very same hate can so easily be put aside in times of sorrow and grief. What's more, they can be spurred into action by the vaguest of ideals. Freedom, justice, peace, love, money, and many more. During my time on Earth, Learning about its history and different cultures, I met two soldiers. One was of the military, assigned to keep watch over me and protect me. And the other was a rebel, who I met accidentally at a local drinking establishment. <laughs> I asked them both the same question and was surprised by their answers. I asked them why they decided to take the life that they had. They both answered me with a simple phrase. To survive. When I asked to elaborate, the soldier said, and I quote, I became a soldier to fight, to safeguard my people against anything that threatens them, to become a shield for humanity, for Earth and all her allies. The rebel said, I became a mercenary not because I wanted to, but because I had to. When the Garn seized a colony, my colony, I realized something. The government can't always act and do what's right, even if they know that not doing anything is wrong. They have rules that keep the peace, and I acknowledge that. So I decided to take up arms when the government couldn't. I will become a spear for humanity, protecting it when its protectors cannot. I will never forget those two not only for their convictions towards their cause, but because not two years later I received news of their untimely demise. They died doing what they said they would be, the shield and the spear. But humans are a fragile species with no natural defense against threats Yet their unremarkable ability to adapt has led them to become the most numerous of all the species in the Confederacy. They can go just about anywhere, any previously inhospitable environment, not only managing to survive, but also thrive there. They are soldiers, but are also scholars. They are explorers, but are also settlers. They are builders, but are also destroyers. They are fragile, yet the most durable. They are weak, but also strong. I think we can all stand to learn a thing or two from them. Professor Cree Null of the Chlorin, when asked of his opinions towards humans of Earth. End of transmission. And I am to assume this is one of the fewer good outcomes, computer. That is correct. I suppose it is one I could accept. At the end of the day, fate is not something I can have full control over after all. But if this is one of the outcomes that can happen, then maybe if I can help steer it in the right direction, I can accept that. Commence Project Orc. Of course, Captain.